Commander Speedy here. Happy Friday, everybody. What's up, guys? How's it going? Termino, Squatch, Eric, Kevin Lee, Rocker Gamer, Dots of Zachary. And, uh, I think I got you all. And Crimbo. What's up, guys? Let me just, uh... Game goes down a little bit. Okay. Hey everybody. Oh shit, that's versus. Campaign. I should play with the glasses on. Okay, you got it. It looked good, right? Someone asked Espero. Someone asked Espero if he likes Yusuke. His response was, who's Yusuke? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> does he have him yet? I haven't... Dude, I keep... I never go on fucking Twitch. I gotta go on Twitch more. What part is he up to? Or, you know what? I take it that he means he doesn't care about Yusuke. Hey, Miss Rock. He's at the beginning of the third arc. So that's like the Makoto arc, right? He sincerely forgot. No, I didn't. Did Biss stream today? Yeah, I just gotta go on Twitch more. I would love to watch those. Yeah, Espero's playing Persona 5. Twitch.tv slash Espero plays. Check him out. He's a great guy. Alright, you guys want to just jump into Mission 15 or can we talk for a bit? Why doesn't Biss stream on YouTube? He's been thinking about it, but, you know, his channel's so big and his his videos do like pretty good numbers where he feels like if he streams he might lose subscribers i don't I th he didn't say that specifically but i think that's the reason personally i think he's afraid of bothering people he roasted you in his stream oh come on <laughs> what'd you guys say that part was gold oh let me see let me see And you? Who is that? No! That's so fucking funny. <laughs> the the realization. <laughs> <gasps> That's fucking great. I gotta check the series out, dude. <laughs> that is so funny. Think he would stream in YouTube to garner more audience? Who, Bismix? I don't know. Anyway. I wanted to apologize about yesterday, guys. I'm feeling... I felt worse this morning, but now I'm feeling a bit better. Um... But yesterday, like, I was just so out of it. You could probably tell. But, um, it was really hard for me to focus on chat. And I think Crimbo told me how to fix the audio problem, like, 20 times. I, like, checked the, <laughs> checked the replay to see all the chat messages I missed. And I feel so bad. So my bad, guys. I apologize. But I, I really wasn't feeling too well. Anyway. Let's go into this next one. <laughs> All right, everyone, keep up the pace. Victory lies just beyond those woods. Now, more than ever, we need Blue Moon to be strong. Uh. Hold your horses there, boss. <sighs> How dare you interrupt me when I'm giving orders to the troops. Pretty darn sure that's an ambush we're walking into. There are enemy units in those woods. Madness. Oh, dear. That ain't all. They got some crazy weapon pointed at us right now. Oh my, oh my. Getting through this is gonna take some doing. Oh my gosh! What do we do? Don't fret none. This one's mine. I figure my abilities are best suited to take on those monster cannons. Truthfully, Grit, are you sure you can handle this? Yeah. I'm sure I'll muddle through one way or another. Beedy, did you know that Gunter has five less defense in Revelation than in Conquest? Wait, actually? Maybe that's why he got hit so hard. Influenza A in your household. Fingers crossed you don't get it. Fingers crossed. 
Drink lots of OJ. So, <coughs> sent you, did they? Blue Moon CO Grin. Your CO power is snipe attack, right? And you're, uh, uh, specialist in indirect combat? Uh, did I miss anything? Uh huh. You know your stuff, don't you? <laughs> well, I mean, I am a genius and an expert military tactician. The Black Cannon's my invention, too. Cool, huh? Huh? Black Cannon? What's it good for? <laughs> oh, well, that's a dangerous question. You really want to know? For starters, its range of fire is much, much larger than yours. And I've tweaked it so I can now fire every single day. You and your forces will be toast long before you can reach your goal. <laughs> I see. I reckon I'll have to sneak along through the woods, then. Oh, yeah? Are you seriously gonna try it? No problem. I suppose I am. I'm sure those cannons are as powerful as can be, but being the biggest don't always mean you're the best. I think I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so scared. Somebody get me a teddy bear and a nightlight. <laughs> Listen here, soldiers. Our goal is simple. Reach our HQ on the far side of these woods. Unit type is not a factor. Any one of y'all can touch down at HQ and we'll win. And as long as you're in the woods, you're safe from cannon fire. A rest there if need be. Now, we can't go allowing our HQ to be captured. So if y'all have a run-in with enemy troops, be sure to give them something to remember you by. Okay. All right, time to get a move on. Finalized your 2300 word Dorothy character analysis video script? Why? <laughs> what? I guess she has a bunch of supports that you can like extract that from. It feels like you're you're doing what Troops did and read it, reading into like five lines of dialogue from Miranda. <laughs> but that's cool. I'm looking forward to that. Is that Fog of War? Uh, I feel like the standard for Advanced Wars is Fog of War. I feel like most maps are Fog of War. If not, more than half. Fog of War is good in Advanced Wars. Because, like, otherwise you would just get blown up every single turn. It's like... When your forces do this most of the time, having, like, stealth... Sorry, my mic is, like, dying. Having stealth in that situation is very useful. No, I'm sure you worked very hard, Dotstiff. The 2300 words is like an insane amount, I think, for a character analysis video. Especially from like the GBA era. Why does Grit have an anti-air? They probably have... I don't know, do they have air units on this map? I have no idea. <coughs> Used to Fog of War from FE. It... It's a double-edged sword. Like, obviously, I have no idea what's up here, so I might get blown up. But if I'm here, I... I'm guaranteed that the AI can't target me, you know? So that's why it's nice. Oh shit. That range is a lot bigger than I thought. There's swords in this game? Only guns and missiles. But it would be cool, right? Enjoying Xenoblade 2 thus far? I think you'll like it unless it takes a steep turn for the wars. Alright, keep me posted. Thank you. I should have put the mech in there. <coughs> oh, that's true. Kambe does have a sword. That is true. Well, that sucks. I didn't think his range was her range was so big. 
Found out today that most FE games have at least one incestuous pairing. Alright, go down the line. FE1. You got I'm not sure about FE1. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Oh my god. I gotta take out that infantry. First three, there isn't one. Okay, so FE4, you got like Celeb Julia, right? FE5. Leaf Nana, for sure. They definitely. I have no idea, actually. Also, this sucks. Wait, are Leaf and Nana cousins? Yeah, Lachesis. No. Are they cousins? Leaf is Quan and... No, no, Leaf is... Elif's cousin. What am I... Okay, you could ship them, right? I think. I don't know my family trees. Also, we're super boned. Leaf and Nana are what? FE6, Roy and Lalina due to FE's pairings and FE7. Not canon. Not canon. The Pegasus sisters don't exist. Oh boy, this is gonna be bad. We're gonna eat it next turn. I don't think Clarion and Klein are much of a pairing. But Clarion is like Lachesis, but toned down a bit. You know, she's just like she just she's really proud of her brother, but she's not like. I'll stop there. This is a family-friendly channel, guys. God, nuts. I hope they don't find my recon. <laughs> Raven Priscilla. Never really saw, but anyway. Is there one in Tellius? No? Oh, this is a kill, baby. Let's do this. Odd Sylvia is very goofy. They have a conversation where they find out they're cousins and they gain romance points for the conversation. Listen, it was different in, in the 90s. I actually don't know what the customs are for cousins in Japan. Because, um... In certain countries, it's, like, totally normal for, like, cousins to, to be marryable. At least that's what I've been told. By certain people. I think Japan doesn't care. It's taboo here, and I'd be grossed out by it, but... Probably first cousins, maybe. Well, I'm talking about first cousins, yeah. I'm just gonna eat it, dude. I wear my sunglasses at night. I could take them off at any point. If one person in the chat says take them off, you look stupid. 
I'll totally take him off. You're hosting a 60-person Yu-Gi-Oh tournament? That's awesome. Well, I hope you're not too distracted here. Or do you mean it's not going on right now? You look fine AF. Thanks, Kevin. Only put the glasses on during fog maps. Sounds like a plan. Alright, let's uh... wonder what's up here. This mech is gonna get so left behind. Hey, Dilly! You had a funeral that you were gonna attend, right? Hope you're doing okay if so. I'm okay, thank you. But yeah, it was, uh, it was Thursday. It was, uh, a family friend of mine. He, uh... I mean, he's, he's had cancer for, like, five years, maybe? And he got a bone marrow transplant, like, in March, and it, his body didn't agree with it. So it was sad, but I'm doing okay. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, guys. I hope I can kill this. Oh, my God. Who's upkeeping these roads? The Blue Moon! Thanks, Miss Rock. <laughs> he was such a funny guy. Um, <laughs> so, in, in Turkish tradition, I don't, I don't know if it's true for all uh, Muslim funerals, but the, the way that like it, it goes on in my community like, my, my parents' generation, my dad's generation, at least, is, is more religious. I'm not very religious. But they have a custom where, after someone passes away, you have to bury the body within 24 hours. And then the funeral's, like, really hands-on. Like, you see the casket go in the ground, and then people take turns shoveling dirt onto the casket as, like, a paying your respects. And you're supposed to, like, make a mound of dirt and uh, pour water on it from head to toe to like give them blessings in the next life but <laughs> the, the person who passed away he told my uncle he's like I don't want any dirt on me like make sure they don't throw dirt on me <laughs> so we we didn't put dirt on him I thought that was really funny so he was, he was making us laugh from beyond Oh yeah, I hope you're, t you're okay too, Absol. For a cousin you never met, it was actually someone I knew, but it, I wasn't aware we were cousins. Uh, that sucks. Wanna be cremated? I don't know if I wanna be cremated. You're not supposed to cremate bodies in Islam. It's like a desecration of the human body to do that. But, uh, I'd like to be a tree. They do that. They put you in a pod. And they plant you. Three Houses is the first game where we didn't get playable siblings. Lane and Sedith. They're not... Uh, I guess that's a... <laughs> that's, a that's a spoiler. Yeah, I'm gonna super snipe here. It's time to take you... Being a tree would go so hard! Snipe attack. Oh, Yuritsa and Mercy. That's a good point. That's a good point. Oh, look at that damage. It's beautiful. Ass! I'm, I didn't... I should have calculated it.
It's Mercy's birthday today? Awesome. Thank you, Fables. Appreciate that. I was told to keep the glasses on because it hides the bags under my eyes. But when you're commanding a military, doesn't it feel appropriate to, to wear aviators? Happy birthday, second best girl? Who's first best girl? Oh, happy birthday to your sister, Dark Griffin. Happy birthday. Dorothea? Okay, Dorothea's second best girl. You got that twisted. Hilda, Hilda. <laughs> Bro, they're capping everything. Grit has by far the worst theme you heard so far. I guess it's just your taste. I think Grit's theme is awesome. The worst, my least favorite theme in the game is Olaf's. I think Olaf's theme is the worst. Or maybe like Andy's. I'm not a big fan of Andy's theme. Too happy. I want to be sad. Why is Max your favorite CO? I like hitting things hard. And also, I do like his theme. When I was a kid, Max's theme was like my favorite, but I never got like far enough in Advanced Wars to hear the other ones. So like he was I would always pick him when I was like a nine year old. Be like max time oh shit. That's no good, chat. That's no good. Gonna have to take some casualties here. Did I see your news update about Honkai 1.1? Uh no. But I did see a tweet about it, I think. That they're getting, like, friend chat. And there's, uh... Well, give me the rundown. Or, where can I find the... Where can I find it? Is it on the Discord server? Lash is my favorite CO because of Prime Tactics and Daily Benefits. I get that. Silver Wolf. Well, I knew about Silver Wolf, right? That was confirmed for a while, I thought. Oh, I'm in range. Shit. <coughs> Alright, let me check it out. Summary tweet. What the hell are you guys posting in here? What the hell is this? Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay. 1.1 Honkai Star Rail live stream summary. Silverwolf and Luocha banners. I feel like I knew that. Oh, free Yukon. That's awesome. She's the imaginary fox girl, right? Free four-star Nihility Lycone. Added Bellabog Museum Area. Bellabog's the robot, right? Like Clara's robot, I think. No, that's Mr. Sparog. Who's Bellabog? Is that the town? That might be the town. Chat system with friends. Total of five events. Four story quests. And a new daily login. That's cool. All fox girls are imaginary. Okay, true. But there's an element in Honkai called imaginary. <laughs> yeah, Bellabo okay, it's it's Yurilo 6's town. That's right. Yukong is free in 1.2. Got it. Rest in peace.
Did you play the Fates DLC with Owain, Inigo, and Severa? That's like the only one I played, to be honest. I forgot what it was called, but um, it had a killer. It had killer music. It was so good. But yes, I played that one. And yellow tickets, nice. I'm hoping I could get Silver Wolf, but my 50 50's active right now. I'll pull on stream. Because, you know, when I summon on stream, my luck just gets boosted super high. But, uh, I'm hoping I could snag Silver Wolf. We should do. Oh, it's Heirs of Fate. That's right. I, I don't have it on my capture card, I have it on my original 3DS. How's it going, Chip? We're talking about gotcha games. I should probably just do this and ignore the cannon. Yeah, my star rail luck was really good last time. Wish Lilith was relevant in Revelation. Me too. No, I feel like I've played Hidden Truths, though, because I remember seeing, like, Lilith's backstory. I feel like I have Hidden Truths, too. Because I remember finding out she was my sister, and I was like, what? That's crazy, dog. But not really. Don't know how well, how ROMs generally handle DLC. I hate using DS emulators. It's a 10 year old game, Dilly. Come on. Come on. Lilith is better than both of them. Ow. Wait, there was a guy there? What the hell? Alright, how many days until we lose? That's what I gotta find out. And I also gotta resupply these tanks. Rockets have such bad mobility. Oh my god. There's no time limit? I mean, they said someone's gonna try and capture our HQ. So, uh... I don't know how close they are. Feels like an odd pick for the, st pick for the story to push Grit for this one. Yeah, right? Like, Grit's all about staying still and, like, <laughs> catching the enemy in ambushes. I could probably win... Uh, oh, I only have five fuel. Shit. I needed that APC. I could do this. Oops.
My rockets! Difficulty challenge. Okay, as Miss Rock says, the cities are indicators about how close she is. If I had fuel, I could totally make it this turn. Or, like, 80% sure I could make it. But my APC can't reach my recon. We're gonna get a pretty bad grade on this one. Damn it. Alright, next turn is our turn, guys. That would result in no way she could take the HQ. I mean, she has more than one infantry, right? You talking about this guy? Honestly, I'm just hoping there's not an infantry here. But I don't want to lose units for the ranking. I mean, yeah, as long as it doesn't get blocked, I can win next turn. I haven't played the original Advance Wars. How loyal is Re Reboot Camp to them? I haven't played them in a while, but from memory, they're pretty... Pretty accurate. I don't think they've changed that much. Maybe some, like, unit placements. I remember Miss Rock saying some of the units were different on, like, the earlier maps. Are you surprised that Dual Strike's not in this collection? Nope. Because I feel like one and two are so similar that it makes sense to like add them together. But dual strike would be a bit more involved because of you know the two screens thing. There's a whole mechanic with dual striking. <laughs> I think I think I'm not surprised it's not in this collection. got news about your grandpa's health. Ah, jeez. Is it bad news or good news? Alzheimer's getting worse. That's so hard to deal with. I have a friend whose mom is going through that, and it's, like, heartbreaking. Honestly. Sorry to hear that. You can't hide. Snipe attack. Alzheimer's is scary as hell, because... I was under the impression that because I play video games so much, and I, like, exercise my brain muscles every single day of my life. That, like, my brain would kind of be, like, not as susceptible to it. I, I assumed Alzheimer's just was just from, like, not using your... Like, you just sit there and watch TV all day when you're retired, you know? Apparently, that's not the case. They have no fucking clue why it happens. Now I'm terrified that, like, one day it's gonna happen to me. He plays games to protect his brain. <laughs> it does help? That's not what I read. I read that the causes are completely unknown. And it just happens because of like a chemical imbalance in your brain. Or something like that. It's like a disconnect from the nerves. Like they stop sending signals. GG. Oh, 
Okay. What the heck? They made it through? That shouldn't be possible. I can't be defeated here. You remember this day, Lash. This is where you learn what it means to make Blue Moon your enemy. Oh, oh I'll remember. I remember to smoosh you into the ground. Toodles. Next time we meet, the results will be different. Toodles. Oh my. Glad to see the end of that. That was great, Commander Grit. <laughs> well done, Grit. After today, I can see the day of our ultimate victory approaching. All we need to do is march out to meet it. Back in middle school, Spanish teacher... <laughs> they don't come any tougher than that. Spanish teacher shared an article with us saying that a foreign language can help prevent Alzheimer's. Well, I guess that's a lie. Maybe I'm gaslighting you guys. I don't... Okay, they're saying, you know, like, a healthy diet and exercise can help in this article. I'm reading, hold on. Okay, 10 ways to love your brain, guys. Are you ready? Number one, sweat. Number two, read. I guess it's true. Don't smoke. Don't have a bad heart. Wear a helmet. Eat healthy. Sleep a lot. Okay, I, I, read, a, I read an article that was just like... Wait, wait, this is the one. Play video games. You see this? Play video games. Play video games, such as Advanced Wars, that make you think strategically, like Advanced Wars. No, I know, Mr. Rock. I'm not trying to say it's his fault. I'm sorry. I was saying that sometimes it just happens, you know? Look who's here. You're tripping, Absol. Okay, final mission. No, Balan Wonderland Wonderworld actually causes that. So, uh, don't play that game. Yes, already? When did they get to the factory? Uh-oh. We're in trouble, aren't we? <laughs> You're a reckless little thing, aren't you? I hope you've got an explanation about all this for Hawk. And you, Flack, what's going through that square head of yours? The factory's way too close to those silos. What happens if it gets hit with a missile? Huh? Uh, I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> well, those missiles won't even scratch my lash armor. Tee hee hee! And that pipe seam is totally wrapped in the stuff! Let's open my factory and make with the misery! It's because it's a bad fucking title, Termina. Okay, don't blame me. I wouldn't worry. Adder seems like Lash- Oh, Adder! I wouldn't worry, Adder. Seems like Lash has a plan. <laughs> I can deploy any unit I want, right? This is gonna be wicked. <laughs> I wonder if those two will be able to handle this. Grit! Are we ready, Grit? Sure thing. Yes, sir, e boss. Ready when you are. Um, sorry to interrupt, Commander Olaf. Commander in Chief of Orange Star is approaching. Yes. Orange Star. Ugh. Doran. It's been a while, Olaf. <sighs> Nell. What brings you here uninvited? Did I request reinforcements? Well, alright. Nah, you didn't. But I sure did. <sighs> Brit! Why, you no good. Are you familiar with the concept of chain of command? <sighs> Commander Olaf, Commander Grid only did what he thought best for Bloom... What he thought best for Blue Moon, sir. I know, boy, I know. Now shush. 
the grown-ups are talking. Mm-hmm. No, I have not, Dotstuff. Feel free to share. <coughs> this is a vital strategic location. More importantly, Blue Moon is our valuable ally. Orange Star offers its aid. Seeing as this is our territory, I'm of a mind to send you packing. However, we are a bit short-handed, so I'll accept your offer. Yeah. Excuse me for interrupting, Commander Olaf. The troops are ready when you are, sir. Yeah. Very well. Let's not fall behind. Advance on all fronts! Really at work, Commander Grit. Seeing Blue Moon's danger and rallying our allies so quickly. What now? Oh. Oh, that. Anything to keep from getting shot up, son. What? Sir, that was the reason? Really? Commander Grit! Wait up, sir! Okay, chat. I'll let you vote. I'm gonna blow my nose real quick. I gotta go... get some tissues. <coughs> How many options can I add? Four? Okay, let's do... I'll do two polls, and we'll wait like a minute for each. <coughs> oh, is YouTube chat messed up? Alright, be right back, guys. Hold on. All right, the blue moon poll has ended, and it seems Grit has won. Why would you guys not pick Colin? Are you fucking serious? Thank you for voting, guys. Let's do the red, orange star army now. Oh, this is a QA. Hold on. You would recommend Colin and Max for this mission? Well, you know, we're playing on normal mode, and I'm not playing for rank. I'm fine with uh, picking who chat wants to see. I don't remember this one being too hard. Oh, okay, you sent the link a while ago. Let me see. Look at the image that's being quoted, and then the quote itself. Uh... Okay. 
With all seriousness, this is the only character that has nothing to do with Street Fighter. I've played Street Fighter since the start, and well, I would have preferred a sexy female character. But some gay character acting all flamboyant just has nothing to do with Street Fighter. Between woke controls and this, I don't know anymore. Woke controls. I was playing Liberal Fighter 6 and my opponent who used woke controls and constantly spammed their progressivism moves won the gender neutral and- <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Hit me with a whack ass he they 50-50. Oh, that's good. Well. That made me laugh. Anyway, it looks like Max won the poll. No one wants to see Andy, guys. What the heck? I don't know what woke controls mean. Is it like the easy mode? Like dynamic? Dynamic controls? Reckon it's my turn. Reckon it's my turn. Hey! This is the Classico. The long range and the short range. Mapping specials to a single button. Tell him not to play, uh, what's it called? Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Uh oh. Also, Street right. Fighter 3, Street Fighter 4 3DS literally had that. They had that button all, whatever. It's okay. I don't give a shit. It's not hard to do a super input, guys. It's fucking baby shit. Reckon I gotta take this field this time around. Now let's see if we can't send these boys packing. Wait a second. That itty bitty little, that itty bitty girl's the enemy. Is this some kind of joke? In any case, I'm good to go. Well, shoot. Do I give an HQ to Max? I guess I do. We get this bomber for Max. That's what we should do. That's the, it's not Max's turn. I'm sorry. Okay, so what? I'm aiming for this seam, right here. It keeps eating your messages. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> Recommend getting max two cities in an airport. No factory? I was gonna grab the factory. What's up, Andrew? Congrats on the Branya. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll grab the factory. YouTube kind of funky tonight. Wait, same turn reinforcements? That's not fair. What the fuck? Do you guys see that? Fuck. I always do that. into that YouTube funk does the spider are you talking about like spider-man 3 dance hey, what's up Chris we're advancing very well all soldiers move out sir <clears throat> this mission's a difficulty spike I'm gonna destroy Lash, okay? You just watch. I have the best COs on my team.
We'll just keep capping with him. Advanced Wars web tier list is weird. Oh, you should send it to... Where do I look? I'll find it. Because you're not a mod. Who do you think the legendary hero is this month? Do you guys know? I sure don't. I've been building that Forma Legendary Alm. But I don't know what good skills are anymore. I'm so out of it. Is this it? Broken Tier. Hachi. Colin. Kanbei. Sensei. Grit. Javier. St okay, it's not. Wait, before I dox myself. Like, you're located in blah blah blah. Is this it? Are you located on Earth? Alright, let's see. We'll go by standard. I think standard's probably the best. I could see it. I would think Drake should... I guess Drake's special is pretty good. Is Lash really so low? Is Rachel really so low? <coughs> Drake sucks. I guess Hawk's special costs too much. And I'm surprised Eagle is not tier 1. But I guess his special costs too much. And I'm surprised Sammy is low, too. How is Adder the worst CO in the game? I think so. I think they mean Sonya's the worst. But he is consistently at the bottom. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe his Sidewinder's not very good. Sonya has bad luck, frowny face. Why did... Oh, okay. I'm blue and red. I was like, why didn't I attack? Am I dumb? Attack speed, X-Blade, and A, seal speed 4, plus Oath 4, or B, escape route 4, plus times pulse 4. Is that like the ideal kit? I got the uh, the Vantage Damage Reduction one. I thought that was pretty good. I forgot what it's called, though. Frenzy. No, I think Frenzy's the Desperation one. Let me look it up. Yeah, it might be speed preempt. Yeah, it's speed preempt, this one. Anyway. There's an airport up here? Oh my god. I didn't even see it. Definitely gonna consider Oath 4. Seems good. Lucy is the best sword infantry. She's insane. Yeah, she seems really good. I think Alir's really good, too. I keep facing Alir's, and they're, like, crazy good for some reason.
I'm gonna get mecked, aren't I? Yeah, Lear is annoying. I don't have Fae Pass anymore, so I leave my Tempest Trial on auto battle. And then sometimes I just, like, sit there without knowing it at the game over screen. And there's just a single Alir on the map. <laughs> and it's like, fuck, dude. <coughs> Sorry. You look like Top Gun? That's the point, son! And no, I'm still a little sick. But th thanks for your concern. Saving engage banners for next year. We'll see. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Oh my god! Legendary Alir is male. You think that's gonna happen? You said it as a joke, got it. <laughs> I couldn't tell. <laughs> I'm gonna get destroyed by this factory, dude. a lot, Shay. Damn. <laughs> is Emshez... Emshez is 5-star? Or 4-star? I have no freaking money. Five star, damn. I hope so too, Dots, for your sake. But you know, when you catch your Moby Dick, you're gonna be... You're gonna feel empty, just like Jill. When Jill got added to Faye, all it took was one month for me to say... I'm not satisfied anymore. <coughs> Is YouTube chat really acting up that bad? Aw, oh, jeez, a mid-tank? Really? Shit. How many messages are getting eaten up? I thought you guys just didn't like me. I had to refresh stream twice. Oh jeez, I'm sorry guys. I mean, looks like whatever you see on screen is what I see. So, uh, if you don't see your message on the screen, just send it again. Unless it's not relevant anymore.
Oh shit, he's gonna get that missile silo. I'm about to get nuked, dude. Seventy five per cent, God. YouTube keeps silencing you. <coughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Anyways... Yeah. This is not good. You haven't had a single issue? <coughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. And what's up, Santos? How's it going, man? Um, if Gold Mary's a demote, I'd be a little disappointed. I want her to have, like, good stuff, but, um, like, I, I, I kind of want her to be a five-star, just so my summoning, I'm going to do a summoning stream if she ever gets added. It'll be more exciting if she's five-star. I'm literally only playing Faye for that little piece of content. That's, like, all I'm playing it for. Emotes are fun to jump, just dump skills into. Arcane weapons helped a bit, but, like, it still feels bad. Because you know they're never going to be as good. <coughs> Uh-oh. Just feed them florets. They're still not as good. Hot take, but Gold Mary isn't that hot. Hey, more for me, dude. <laughs> more for me. Atlas has been kicking the ass of premium units. Honestly, he's doing great. Yeah, but you said that about Boucheron. I don't trust you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Though. Your winter net fucks. Okay, but is she good at the game? Alright, guys. We could trust... The game eight tier list, right? Uh, five star, 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 I think. I can't remember. Five star. I'll find a I'll find a four star dude. I will. I fucking will. There, there, right there. Him, our savior. <laughs> I know tier lists are not a good indicator, but I, I just feel like it's there's a bias. And no, the game CO tier list has never lied.
Hot take, but attractive woman isn't that attractive. <laughs> that is a hot take. No, you guys are all wrong. You're all wrong. Am I out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. It must be. I do like Goldmary for personal reasons. Are they the same reasons as me? I think she's really funny, personally. I didn't- I was like hesitant at first, because she was kind of a bitch. But like, most of the support she made me laugh. I was like, damn, you know what? I actually do like this character. But, uh, yes, I, I find her very attractive. Ivy stole your heart. You hate her, what, her shoulder pads and her normal outfit? Ooh, Goldberry? Bruh, this is official art. Official art from the game. Are you fucking serious? How could you not like this, guys? Her chest pads? Oh, you mean like, uh... Okay, okay. This. I think that's just her dress. Honestly. Like this? You hate this? She's wearing a corset. She has a boob window, but... Because her mole needs fresh air. Her mole right there needs fresh air. You wouldn't understand. It's a, it's a terrible skin condition. Needs more Yunaka? It could. It could use more Yunaka. <laughs> the mole poggers! <laughs> I gotta defend my infantry here. If it's the last thing I do. Die, motherfuckers! As someone with a skin condition, you 100% agree. You gotta air out your moles, guys. Oh, you're trying to make a joke? Are you saying her boobs are fake? Because they're not, I checked. You're fucking wrong. <laughs> On the wiki, it actually says in, like, fun facts that she's 100% authentic. Please, please elaborate. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <coughs> Fuck, I'm sorry for coughing so much. I wish I wasn't sick. The glasses made him better. I am drinking water. It's not helping. I, I have a head cold. Who has the best mole? Yelon, Himiko, or Goldmary? I wasn't even aware that Yelon and Himiko had moles. They have like face moles, right? I gotta check. We gotta do research. Am I blind? Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Imiko. 
Is just is this just a thing in Japan? I can see Himikas. Uh Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and say Gold Mary. I'm going to go ahead and say Gold Mary. Anyway. Isn't Genshin Chinese? Okay, it is, but I was talking more about Gold Mary. Because I didn't even realize the other two had... Bowls. What about Petrine's brand? Better than both of them. Where's King KP when we need him? Anytime there's something weird, he could always reassure us. <clears throat> oh, is Anita here? Oh, uh, what the hell are you talking about? Boobs without me? Oh, sorry. My bad. I forgot how we got on this subject, guys. I think we were talking about Gold Mary. And that's how we got here. Right, yeah, that was a joke. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry if I took it too far. I take shit too far sometimes. I, uh, I was talking about the J.O. crystal, and I got a message where it's like, can we please not, and I actually felt pretty bad about that. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm probably making people uncomfortable. I'm sorry, guys. Happy Pizza Friday, Alex. Go farther? No, I can't. I can't go farther. Okay, but that's a joke too, Kidney Grove. I honestly am mortified by that subreddit. Because I've told you guys this before. But I have like this weird soft spot for toys and like... Sentimental things. And I feel like figures also applies to that. Unless it's like a straight up like hentai figure. Like if it's... If, if the figure is naked, go for it, dude. But if it's just like an amiibo of Lucina, I'm gonna be upset. Okay? No, I I was Gregory first. I watched Toy Story as a little boy and it formed me to believe all toys had souls. Gregory ripped me off. Did I see the jar CC has? No. I have not. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alex, but did you know about it before me? Or did I introduce you to it? Terminator, no, you see, that shit makes me sad when you say shit like that. I'm just trying to be as authentic as possible, people. Okay? Is it wrong to be authentic? Rumi has Dexter's dad in a jar? Why? Miss Rock, I don't want to explain it to you. <laughs> the funny jar. What is this a jar for? <laughs> what is this? Like, I've never seen a jar that small. What the hell? Unless your hands are just like. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, uh. See ya, Neo Tank. What is this? A jar for ants? Oh, it might be a paint jar. That's a good point. Hey, Chris. That guy in the shades is real cool. Thank you. Now, let me proceed to be cringe. Alright, Mr. Rock, if you really want to know, I'll explain it to you. But you have to you have to be prepared for like the worst, okay? And chat trigger warning. If I explain it and you don't want to hear anything gross, uh you'll have to mute the stream for like a minute. 
Okay, Miss Rock, I will not explain it then. I respect your wishes. All right, Zachary. <laughs> These are my mods, people. Looking for new mods? We've created an unsafe environment in this community, and I think we need to do some purging. <sighs> What's up, King K? I did. Weren't you here the whole time? Or am I just like. Oh. I missed your message, I'm sorry. I could have swore- Oh, no, 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 we were- We were talking about needing you for weird shit, that's right. Yeah, you weren't here. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep spamming rockets. It's helicopter time. Actually, let me get this tank. <laughs> oh, Dots, you're... Okay, I don't want to throw anyone under the bus. But you're definitely the most... Pro you're the most professional mod I have. And that's not... a bad thing to the other mods. But I feel like you won't say shit that's, like, heinous. <laughs> I feel like Cece has said heinous shit. Anita has said heinous shit. Zachary has said heinous shit. Uh, fucking, I, I, I guess Becca has to. Anita, you literally walked in here and you're like, who's talking about boobs without me? Like, it's not heinous, but it's like, you know, not the most family friend. No, I'm not forgetting my mods. I'm just trying to think of what they spoke about. <laughs> like, Cerse gets a lost cause. He just, he posts the worst art. And King KP talks a lot about being stepped on. Purge. Looking for new mods, guys. Dude, CC literally has a jar with the dad from Dexter in it. You can't tell me. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna try and build a bomber, guys. You're a pseudo mod? Honorary mod. Uh oh. Uh, Kevin Lee, uh. That's a preference? It's not universal. Dude, I've seen videos of, like, those maid cafes where they pay girls to, like, fucking sit on them and, like, slap them in the face. And I'm like, who the fuck would do that? And then I remember King KP. And I say, I shouldn't judge. I shouldn't judge. <laughs> I'm missing that. Nah, not my thing. Not my thing. We get it? Yeah, I don't have to explain myself, but don't act like it's... I'm weird for that, okay? I'm not weird for that. Oh, you know what? You're right, Dark Griffin. We did talk about that. Speedy Vanilla? I like cat girls. That's cool. I'm part of the minority? Well, that's a good thing, right? It makes me unique. Egg. Oh, Booba, just egg. Okay, no more no more sex talk, guys. Playing Advance Wars. Liking cat girls is the most normy opinion? Well, jeez, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna show this on screen, Anita. But that's pretty funny. Okay, it's funny. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay. I saw a compilation of Jerma saying, I'm not going to do this, and then he does it. 
and I realize that I'm very similar. I always say, I'm not gonna talk about this, and then I fucking talk about it. Okay, it's funny. It's funny. Yeah, I do- I do it often, I'm sorry. Because I realize- I personally don't care if I talk about it, but I don't want to do something that would hurt my image, you know? But then, when someone encourages me in chat that it's okay, I'm just like, oh, it's fine. I'll just talk about it. <laughs> like, I could talk about anything, dude. I don't give a shit. Alt-right vibes. That's- that's me. I have alt-right vibes because I didn't want to talk about the vaccines like the week they were cleared by the ADA. Or is it AD not ADA? You know what I'm talking about. The food one. <laughs> ADA is for like handicapped people. And I can't remember the food one. FDA. FDA, yeah, yeah. <laughs> CDC, whatever. Something. They do something. The World Health Organization. I thought the FDA does drugs, too. Or, I guess drugs aren't vaccines. Drugs are not food? Doesn't FDA stand for Food and Drug Association? Or something? <laughs> FDA meaning. You're located- yeah, Food and Drug Administration. Not association. Administration. Drugs aren't food? Well, they handle the drugs, like, over-the-counter stuff, you know? No, stop spreading misinformation, Anita, you know? Thank you, Sad Sausage Streaming. Good to see you here. I've never seen you before. That's a funny name. That's probably a loss if I do that. I'm saving up for a bomber. That's the idea. Don't like Gold Mary? She makes you talk about drugs? The good kind! Kids, don't do meth. What do you think is the biggest... Alright, this might be... I don't think it's controversial to talk about this. Do you think the biggest contributing factor to our lifespans increasing so much over the years is because of the advancements in medicine or living conditions and hygiene? What's the answer? Can't stay because you gotta get on a train? Okay. Bye, Anita. Thanks for hanging with us. It was, it was a pleasure. <laughs> Absolutely medicine. Living conditions. Hygiene for sure. Uh oh. We need to have a chat poll. I feel like penicillin was like a big. That was like the boom, you know? Like when penicillin was discovered. Yeah, Andrew knows. Andrew knows. One medicine, two hygiene. And living conditions. I think that should be included. Just like having a clean house for most people. Or I shouldn't say most. Okay, for a portion of the population. I feel like you could live longer if you take medicines but live in a slump than if you live in a pristine palace but never take anything. Yeah, that's... But like, there, there's always been medicine. I'm just talking about like advancements. I feel like there's always been like remedies for stuff. But because of the advancement of science, we've been able to make it, like, way more efficient, right? I'm not spamming enough rockets, guys. Medicine decreases infant mortality tremendously. <laughs> I believe it. Remember COVID? I do. It was... It was such a long time ago.
Better understanding of nutrition has helped a lot. Probably. You assume no AW stream next week. Yes, the Omega Strikers tournament is next week, so we're going to cancel the Advance War stream next week. I totally forgot. Thank you for the reminder. Uh, it's more of a slow increase of life expectancies with small but important advancements. I mean, has... I feel like I read an article. I keep reading articles that I can't recall 100%. But I feel like I read an article recently that said our life ex expectancy is actually going down now. Because people are just, like, so sedentary. And I believe it, but... You know, I wonder what the next big breakthrough is. Here for cancer or 3D printing organs? I'm curious. No, I didn't quit the team rocker gamer. I was kidding. Oh, Kevin. <laughs> we're, playing, we're doing Jay's Omega Striker tournament next Friday. I hope the cure for cancer as well. What? I didn't even notice that anti air. Am I dumb? What the fuck am I thinking? That's true, King KP. That, that is true. How long have we been on this mission? Probably like a half hour to 40 minutes. What time is it? It's 1047? It's a tough call, Kevin Lee, because there's merits to both factors, but, um... Philip, I know you're... I don't know if you're joking, but I want to make it very clear. I have no problem with furries. I am not a furry, okay? I promise you. I feel a little uncomfortable being called a furry by so many people, but, uh... I know, like, people like to, like to just joke around with me. I've, I've studied furology for years. I can assure you, cat girls, there's a line, okay? I assure you. I also have gotten a comment in the past of me being a bigot towards furries. <laughs> so I don't want to come off as hateful. I'm okay with furries, guys. But, uh... Can I prove the line? Yes, there's a scientific method. Do I still get lolly comments? It's only the, the summer tiki shit. As a Shango. And that one kind of bothers me too. But, you know, I know you guys are just making fun of me. He likes Goldmary. His taste is way too normie to be a furry. You shut up, Termina! Okay, she is not a normie! She's just beautiful. Look. Dragon Dogma 2 cat people are way over the line. Okay, let me be the judge. I have a PhD in this, so. Dragon Dogma 2 cat people. This is. Is this. This is not Skyrim? Is this the right game? Yeah, it's over the line. I hate to break it to you, but that's over the line. Alright, we can win this mission soon. We're almost there, guys. Yeah, they look just like a cheat. <laughs> Hyper Dragon's Dogma 2. Let's fucking go. I've never actually heard of that game. 
Wait, do we get an S rank last mission? I forgot. <laughs> I'm like wondering what rank I'm gonna get. Is anyone paying attention? I should pop my super here. Don't get me all right. We did get an S last mission? Hell yeah. <coughs> You've been chatting and not paying attention at all? That's totally fine. I like hanging out with you guys. S rank with 285. Thank you, Miss Rock. Oh, Rocker Gamer, I'm in. There's nothing more convincing than that. Sold! On the Isaac grind? I'm not a big Binding of Isaac fan. It's a pretty gross game. Makes me feel sick. Which advanced war COs are furries? You think Sasha? <laughs> I think Colin. I think Colin might, you know. He's rich. Isn't the meme that furries are all rich? I could have swore that was a thing. Kanbei, definitely. No fucking doubt. Lash has fangs. Well, she's just goth, right? All of Blue Moon. Oh, wait. I've never seen a cooler spell in a video game than this one. One sec. Let the turn end. He killed my copter. Or she killed my copter. <clears throat> what did you tune into? Uh, we're talking about... Don't worry about it. Just blissful. You remain just blissful. Okay? You don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to get the corn figure. Oh, that's sick. I'm Ozai, guys, from, from from Avatar. That is pretty cool. This is a Capcom game, you guys were saying? <coughs> you understood that reference. You need to sleep, you're delirious. Go to sleep! I appreciate you staying up so late, but, you know, it's not good for your health. Very first open world. Capcom doesn't miss. Have you played Dead Rising 3? <coughs> Yo, what's up, Miss Modern Mayhem? I want to apologize if I made you uncomfortable yesterday. I noticed you left a comment that I should stop talking about crystals, and I'm sorry. Yeah, Truly. I, wanna, I, I did feel guilty about it. SF5 was dog shit. On launch. You know, you're right. It is dog shit. Fuck SF5. Two percent? What happened? What happened to my, like, 30? Oh my god, I ulted way too early. The less said about RE6, the better. Dude, I forgot how jank RE6 is. I've been watching Oni plays play it. And the fucking thumbs up, like... <laughs> 
<laughs> Good job! Am I gonna buy stream SF6 when it comes out? Probably. I should be able to one-shot? Wait, did you think the helicopter could one-shot? I thought it did 2%. I didn't hit reset turn. I hit yield, dude. Alright. Just pretend I won, guys. Pretend... <laughs> Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on to Yellow Comet and then I'll beat this off stream. <laughs> Fuck! I'm so stupid! I meant to hit retry turn! No! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> fuck. All right, we're moving on to Yellow Comet, guys. <laughs> I ran out of good ammo. Oh. That's so upsetting. God damn it. All right, let me use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back, guys. My bad. Okay, guys, so I decided while I was in the bathroom that I'll replay that mission off stream and I'll just like get to the point where the pipe is one shot. And then next time we stream Advanced Wars, I'll continue from that point. You know, it is the glass's fault. I wasn't thinking. What are the conditions of this terrain, Sonya? Wait, what's that there? Those are explosives. Down the alarm. We're in danger. Do calm down. They pose no threat to us. Those are the missile silos I had installed. With those in, in place, our country's defense network is practically perfect. Yes. Yes, I see. While attacking from afar may not be to my liking, it is at times unavoidable. While we await the enemy, instruct me in the use of these silos. Commander Conve. Our forces have been ambushed. <sighs> what? The enemy is here? There's no way we're under attack! Impossible! It can't be! My intel reported no enemy troops in this region! No, the silos! They're unguarded! The enemy's trying to take them! Hmm. Do not worry, Sonya. I will go. But... but... What if the enemy reaches them first? You'll be... I am the leader of this country. I shall not fail in my duty. Conbase forces, ride! Move out! You're gonna wait on SF6 until they add Ed? You like Ed? You thought Sonya had pigtails? I feel like they went with her dual strike design, like a bit. They changed her. Um, in Advance Wars 1, she definitely had pigtails. Wait. I don't remember about 2. 
But there was there's a time skip between one and two on the GBA. Where Sonya looks very young. I gotta find a bigger picture. This is what she looked like in the original Advance Wars 1. And then Advance Wars 2, she had pigtails too. And then Advance Wars Dual Strike. She went with the... Actually, she probably has pigtails here too. I think she does. Like behind the neck here. I can't tell. Anyway. Father, oh, listen, the missile silos can only be operated by infantry or mech units. Oh, you know what else? In the original Japanese version, Sonya always has glasses. They, they took them out in the American version for some reason. So this is actually more authentic to the uh, original experience. The missile silos can only be operated by infantry or mech units. If your troops reach them first, you'll be able to launch a single missile! <laughs> <coughs> I understand. Do not fear, my loyal subjects. Kanbei rides with you! Americans have perfect eyesight? It's true. <coughs> I don't know if I lied to you guys, but I'm pretty sure that's true about the glasses. Oh my god, it's Flack! We haven't seen him in a while. Don't see why they removed the glasses. I mean, 80% of my chat wears glasses, guys. Okay, let's do it again. Let's see what the Advanced Wars crowd is like. Uh, yeah, here's the Japanese version of Advance Wars 1. There they are. She has little spectacles. She's a nerd. <coughs> you have 2020 vision? Same. I am a hawk. I should build an APC, but they're so expensive with Kanbei. All right, we'll do it. I can't even afford it! <laughs> yeah, she's supposed to be a child, Squatch. She's like, the, the joke is that Kanbei is like kind of incompetent and that his like child daughter is the brains behind the Yellow Comet army. a bad idea. Child soldiers? No, child commanding officers. <laughs> and yes, Grit did have a wide brim hat in Advance Wars 1 Japanese. You're right. And it came back in like Dual Strike or something. Wasn't Colin a joke character based on being the opposite of Kanbei? I don't know. I don't know if that's true. No, oh, Just Blissful, don't say that! Oh my god! What is wrong with you? I know what happens in the world, though. It's really sad. <clears throat> you guys remember Kony 2012? That's the first thing I think of with Child Soldiers. Not to say that it's fake, because the Kony 2012 thing was fake. But, like... Tony definitely existed, <laughs> like, before that campaign. I'll get him someday. Uh, 
I like the instrumentation on that when you're in this menu. Innocent people shouldn't be involved in war. <coughs> Excuse me. Or are you suggesting that we should like just throw criminals into war? Like if you if you've been prosecuted as being guilty of a crime, you just have to get drafted into the military. <laughs> In an ideal world, <laughs> I would love that. That's the plot to Hell's Paradise. That's a good premise. Oh my god, whatever. Sounds like Russia at the moment. Are they doing that in Russia? Are they like, fielding prisoners? I thought they were fielding like everyone. Your boy's fucking dead. This tank is gonna fuck me up. I don't know if I can afford to take three turns to cap this shit. <clears throat> Six months of service and you're free, regardless of crime. Oh my god. I'm just glad we live in a world where we can have a volunteer armed service in America. I'm very fortunate. And I'm very grateful that people are willing to do that for us. But if the circumstances were different... If I was born... I, most of the wars feel like... Okay, World War II, World War II was pretty justified, I think. But, like, Vietnam, not so much. I don't think... No offense, Vietnam fans. <coughs> but I'm just saying, I'm, I'm so thankful I... I... Was not born in a prior era, basically. What does that mean? I mean, World War II happened because... Of, you know... The Holocaust, right? Vietnam fans, that was a joke, but... You know, people who think Vietnam was justified, I'm pretty sure most people don't. It was just to have, like, a sphere of influence, right? American Civil War kind of important. Just slightly. Slightly important. <laughs> Your grandpa who died a few days ago was in Vietnam. My condolences, Dark Griffin. And thank you for his service. My dad luckily um, dodged the draft. He didn't dodge it. He just didn't get his number called. Oh, remember the poll? Thank you. 72% of chat wears glasses. Thank you. It was the red scare. That's true, too. I'm sure a lot of people... uh. Felt like they could be nuked at any moment because of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Didn't that involve, like, Turkey, though? It was, like, Cuba and Turkey, I think. It was a Cold War proxy war. <laughs> I don't know if... You, would you call it a proxy war? I feel like proxy war is more like you arm a different country to go to war. And I'm sure we armed people in different countries to fight in Vietnam. But there was definitely a US draft. <laughs> I thought proxy war was more like what we're doing with Ukraine right now. It was horrid. All war is. Vietnam especially so. We're gonna lose this fucking map.
All right. We should be good. I'm saving up money because Kanbei costs too much. <coughs> really need to have some self-belief, Speedy? For what? Is there any other thing Vietnam was the most disgusting just in terms of what both sides' military forces were up to? Are we talking about Agent Orange? I feel like, was that, like, what's the most heinous thing from Vietnam? Like, I, I, I haven't studied it in so long. I feel like that was, like, a pretty big one. Grandpa had some really bad issues because of Agent Orange. I believe it. Only good thing War does is give us good video games. What a blessed life we live. So back onto Goldmary, and less onto war crimes. Did you know that Goldmary's left and right boobs are slightly different sizes on the model? Now that's realism. If you would like to unsubscribe from Goldmary Facts, please reply, unsubscribe. <laughs> Thank you, Speed. <laughs> Please reply, Ivy is better. Mods ban Squatch from the chat, thank you. Get him out of here. <coughs> is that an infantry on my missile island? Uh oh. Uh, I think that's the case, Rocker Gamer. I don't know if it's universal. Def I, I'm gonna 99% say sure that's not universal. Because humans are very different. You're gonna lose your mind if Obero dies in Rev. It'll be okay. He's in good hands. Why did I do that? <laughs> no comment of the ball size. Personally, I haven't checked mine, so. Can't just do any more, Speedy. Yes, you can, guys. I, I, uh... It wasn't me who got Panette killed. It was RN. People fail to understand this. I feel like a lander's pretty useless. Like, I have a factory over there. <laughs> this is the most vulgar you've been on stream. Talking about male health. You're good, dude. It's like Rev because of how many units there are and you basically can't use any of them. I remember, yeah, I remember having that issue where you get like six units per chapter or something fucking crazy. They just like dump them on you. Are you going to use Charlotte again for Rev? I'm not sure. Is she good in Revelation? What do you have planned out to use thus far? I mean, Saizo's a given. I want to use Saizo. I'd like to get Kale Dory. Um, I'd like to make Leo good. I feel like in my conquest run, Leo was not good. Or he died. I can't remember. He probably died. Um, but I'd like to use Leo. Ryoma, Takumi, and Camilla are basically required. I'll use them. They're pretty good. There is a must because he's broken in rev. Okay. 
Maybe I'll consider it. Alir? What's up, Shango? Alili. Ophelia and Valoria. I feel like I'm okay skipping out on Ophelia and Valoria this time. I don't know why I'm just, like, scanning the map, guys. I'm dumb. <laughs> Octo is good in Revelation. Octo. Who is Octo? Is this a D's nuts joke? Oh, does it mean all the royals? <laughs> Like, Octo, all eight of them. I should use Fuga. He's only available in Rev, right? Oh, it's a generic unit. Okay, okay. I'm down to use Obero just to piss off, uh, uh, not Rocker Gear, <laughs> to piss off King KP when she dies. <coughs> Uga is fun and surprisingly competent. He's not top tier, but he's more usable than you'd think. You are biased, Dodstiff. I can't believe your words. Let's just say you have made it very clear that you have a type. And Fuga, it's every category. Every single one. I cannot take your words. That's like me saying Gold Mary is good. Recruited in 12. Doesn't Scarlet die? He was perfectly fine. I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need a second opinion. Don't think he's broken like Linden, but he's solid. Oh, Scarlet dies. Okay, what the fuck, guys? What are you trying to sabotage me? <sighs> what is this guy doing over here? He's playable in two chapters. What a mess, dude. What a nightmare. Oops. Don't know why the devs just really hated Scarlet. Yeah, the Kaze one's the most shocking. God, Stiff. Oh my god. Try to find a way to reclass Ryoma into Blacksmith. When he cries while using the Raijinto, he might look like Sonic the Hedgehog. What? You're an insane person. Oh, crit. Okay, okay, okay. That's funny. Does he, like, go... <laughs> this rocket is gonna destroy us, guys. I hate it. It's in the way. Remember that time Speedy was the only person to ever use Azana's personal effectively? I'm very proud of that moment. <coughs> very proud of that moment. <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know, shoot a... Shoot one of these, like, right here. I do need vitamin C. I'm dying here. My throat is actually on fire. Izana has a personal? Everyone... Everyone uses Izana on the harder difficulties. Is he, like, good? What are your sleeping and exercise patterns? Sleep two hours a day. Exercise never. Eat three cheeseburgers a day. Uh... I lick subway poles. That's another, like, part of my daily exercise. Uh... No, it's my fucking nephew, okay? 
He goes to daycare. He comes home. I see him once a week. And he fucking sneezes in my mouth, okay? He got my sister sick. My sister has strep throat. My brother-in-law is sick with the same thing I have. It's definitely my fucking nephew, okay? Okay, he literally doesn't sneeze into my mouth. But, like, you know how kids are. They just fucking... <laughs> they have no understanding of that shit. He's a baby. He doesn't even know he's coughing. Would recommend masks in that situation. Yeah. It'd probably help. Back to hygiene versus medicine, guys. Honestly, I feel like the modern shower has increased our lifespan by at least 30 years. A muffle on the nephew would have the same effect. Okay, but he would be miserable. Like, he already can't breathe, you know? <laughs> like, I feel like babies just get sick a lot. That's just what they do. Like, every other week he's sick. Give him a dog code. You have a collection of out of context speedy clips? Oh, come on. I hope you don't use them to harm my, my well standing reputation in this community. Everybody respects me. Dude, Conbay's battleship is so expensive. Oh my god. <clears throat> well standing, exactly. I'll stand by that. I'm oh, sorry, my nose is running. I gotta get a tissue. I keep touching my nose and I can't help it. <sighs> uh, feel free to send me that clip, Rocker Gamer. I'm sure it makes me look like a really good person. How would you feel if proof of your casualness was released on the internet? What are you trying to say, Miss Rock? Do you have something against me? Like, do you have a piece of evidence that you're holding a- Is this blackmail? Here have my terrible maiden paint thumbnail for the analysis video. Okay. We're, we're all about constructive criticism here, right guys? Constructive criticism. We can help you. Number one. Remove. All of the Dorothy art. Except this one. <laughs> uh... I would also put, like, a catchy, instead of just Dorothy, just be, like, the most underrated archer in Fire Emblem. Or, like, F.E. That's what I would do. Um, hey, I'll make you a thumbnail right now, Dotsif. But that might be a little condescending. Not to say that yours is bad, but there's always room for improvement. Everybody can improve, right? You plan to have more in the title? No, oh, you need to have the most catchy thing in the thumbnail. Yeah, it looks fine. Then you the clip on Twitter. Okay, let's see it. What is gonna happen here? Can I vet it first? I could totally do it for you, Dots, but I don't know if you would like it, you know? Speedy sus moment. Okay, hold on. You guys are going on mute.
Okay, guys, we are not going to be playing that <laughs> Okay, can I explain myself with context? Listen, I think a lot of things are cute, right? It sounds bad without context, but sometimes my humor, the way I, I do things, is I'll be like, the like, oh yeah, this totally means I mean this, right guys? Because if I call something cute, they'll be like, what are you, a lollicon? Like, if I, when I call Tiki, I say Tiki's cute. I've had people like, Probably think I'm a lollicon. Oh, here's the clip. Uh, nah, just stab it once. It's so cute. Dude, it's eating it up. And you know what? You know what that means. When I say it's cute, it means I want to have a sexual relationship with it. Okay, that was sarcasm, guys. For the record, for the record, that was sarcasm. That's not. I would not want to have a sexual relationship with the bunny. I'm sorry. Do not look. <laughs> Do not. My good standing reputation in this community. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let's see Nachi's out of context. Do I have to vet this too? Cancel speedrun? I, right. You know what? Oh. I hate What's up? gays. Oh my god! <laughs> whoa, don't, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I had the same reaction. Okay, I think he was- I mean, I don't remember the context, but he was definitely being sarcastic. <laughs> I think I was ribbing him for like, whoa, that's a little homophobic too. <laughs> I love how my reaction was the fucking same, like, whoa! <laughs> that's funny. Okay, anyway, for the record, he's being sarcastic. Oh yeah, I literally, I'm pretty sure I could just like continue watching the clip and I'm like, dude, someone's gonna take that I out hate, of context. You know what? I hate What's up? gays. What? Don't, whoa, 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 whoa. Not even a joke, dude. Don't fucking say that shit. You will get clipped. You're an idiot, dude. What burp said shit? I did not say that, dude. <laughs> clip it, clip it, clip it. What a crimbos. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Proof <laughs> <laughs> that I'm just recording? It just means I'm my authentic self, guys. And Nachi was never seen again. I plan if uh, Persona 4 gets a remake, I plan to stream it with Nagi. But, um, not Persona 4, Persona 3, if I said 4. But if it doesn't get a remake in the next two years, we're just gonna do FES. That is, if I don't die before then. Aw, oh, don't use Gamble on me, dude. I hate this shit. Why think when you can fight? Atlas just registered another P5 domain. For the mobile game, right? Yeah, I don't know how reliable it is either, Dots. I like to think it's real, but... People will do anything for attention. Yeah, FES is the worst gameplay of the three Persona games I've played, for sure. But, um, I do like the atmosphere, the characters, the music. Uh, the story's pretty good. Uh, you get to burn your bread. Uh, there's great social links. E5T. What is T? Elizabeth is great. Okay, maybe not the best example. Uh, <laughs> I'll never understand your taste in female characters. I really won't. Do you think long hair and big booba just makes me think like a, a female character is good? Is it my fault? Is my attraction getting in the way of my opinions? 
Whereas Elizabeth is like legitimately annoying as a character. Does anyone else feel like I do about Elizabeth? Maybe Dots. I, I hope to have my mind changed about Dorothy. I don't dislike Dorothy. I want to make that clear. I just think she's boring. As a character, I find her boring. As a unit, I find her boring. Who's Elizabeth? She's the... Do you remember Persona 4? We had a, a Velvet Room attendant, and it was Margaret. There's a... I did not mean to wait there. There is a different Velvet Room attendant in Persona 3 named Elizabeth. And it's unfortunate that she has short hair. Because it makes me seem biased. It's her. You're playing right into one of your biggest points of your script. But that doesn't make you right. It's still an opinion. Got him. Just because you you preemptively thought I would say she's a boring character doesn't mean you're going to change my mind. <laughs> Who's a character you hate? Lot of heart. I cannot stand Lot of heart. And Dostiff rates her so high on his Ace Attorney tier list. Like, oh my god, it's sickening. I, I can't understand. <laughs> Lot of heart is not funny. She literally does everything in her power to impede your progress as the player. <laughs> I didn't play Investigations too. yeah. You're right, maybe she's different. Makoto, however, is worth it. Which Makoto are we talking about? Heavenly, every time she was on screen, I was just like, oh my god, there she fucking goes again. Just being annoying for the sake of being annoying. Oh, Makoto's the best in Persona 5. She's best girl. 100%. No fucking doubt. You like her afro? It has nothing to do with her design. I just find her annoying. There's a character that has like a design that should appeal to me in Ace Attorney. And I can't remember because it's been years, but I also found her annoying. Um, I don't remember her name, though. Ace Attorney. I can't type into my search bar for some reason. Oh, it's because my controller is holding down a button. It's not Old Bag. It's the victim from... The final case in the second game. I can't remember her name. She had she had like a blue shirt with glasses and like like blonde hair. Maybe Adrienne Andrews. Yeah, her. I found her pretty annoying. Maybe it's the glasses. It's gotta be the glasses. <sighs> yeah, victim wasn't the right word, but uh, were we? She was the defendant, right? It's just zero suit Samus. <laughs> I'm trying to make the point that even if it's not the long hair, short hair thing, guys, I don't care. If I find a character annoying, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find her annoying. Maybe she was being blackmailed. It, it's been so long since I played that game, dude. I can't remember. Hey, Kevin Lee! The same thing applies to fucking Kafka. Kafka's annoying! Okay, I don't know what the fuck she's going on about, but I don't like it when people try to manipulate me, okay? It's pretty fucking annoying. I don't care about Kafka. I don't care if she has big mommy hips. <laughs> you shut up! Nothing, forget it. I'm sorry, guys. That's the Gold Mary fan? No, I found her annoying too, but then I realized she's less annoying and more funny. When I saw more of her supports. Have her in your S tier, this feels targeted again. Okay, maybe we just have different opinions on, like, good characters. <laughs> Is she up here, really? 
Oh, S tier. Oh, yeah, she is there. Okay, I swear to God, I'm not targeting you. I swear to God. I think it's very apparent that we have different values in what we find to be endearing in characters. Who is Kafka? That's Kafka. And she's... She's literally just Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter. That's her role. She's like a jester. She's like pulling the strings. <laughs> okay, maybe not like Hisoka, because she's not a mass murderer. But, um, you get my drift. I feel like she's definitely there to be a wild card in the story. You're not seeing the hips? I mean, they c I guess they could be wider, but I'd say these are pretty big. Like, that's a pretty hourglass figure. Not, like, pretty as an... Okay, I meant, like, it's, it's, it's an hourglass figure. And there is also the thigh gap that exists. <coughs> Fuck! I hate it here! You're expecting Rhea level hips? You were expecting Mavier level hips. <laughs> yes, Kevin Lee, you are definitely a Coomer. A hundred percent. A hundred percent you are. Hashtag derogatory. Oh no! <laughs> this is a great conversation, guys. I love you guys. I'm good at f advanced wars. How is he not dying, bro? Oh my god, there's a U-boat here. Not a U-boat, a lander. You're playing Advance Wars? I'm sorry, guys. I'm sure the difficulty will ramp up when we get to the Green Earth chapters. Even so, I, th I remember Yellow Comet having some challenging chapters. So I know it seems like I'm steamrolling this game pretty hard, so it's pretty boring. But uh, I'll definitely lose at some point without yielding, you know? Dude, the, the guy dodged my battleship. He's too smart. I'm gonna have to cap it. <laughs> if anime characters are like 10% less hot, then I'll be okay. Okay, you don't have to answer. But do you think... Okay, I'm just gonna say this. You might be a coomer if you think... If you would prefer to watch hentai over real... Is that a bad thing to say? I think you're a coomer in both cases. You'd rather not watch either. Well, that's because you're in the you're in the industry, you know. I think I'm on to you. Uh oh. Have I figured you out? I prefer real real women over fiction women. You caught me. I'm sorry. I just feel weirder about saying these things about real women because you know they're real people. But I could be like, oh, Gold Mary is so freaking boob mole. But like, if I was talking about like a celebrity's boob mole or someone that I knew in my personal life, I would not be saying it on stream. <laughs> I'd be saying it in the locker room, guys. 
Did I DM you a message about why Adrian is so good for you to briefly look at without reading about it? I want to defend her without spoiling. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. By the way, that was a joke too. Don't clip me out of context. I'm sorry. Useful clip. <laughs> no, my career. No. By the way, I got to look out where the secret lab is on Yellow Comet because I don't want to miss it. Uh, where are all the enemy labs located? It's the Sensei map. Okay, uh, yellow, yellow Comet Mission 19 Showstopper. It's a Sonya map? Or maybe you could pick whoever you want. And then Green Earth, it's 26. Okay, cool. All right, let me, let me silently read Dots' point. I have read your point. I see where you are coming from. Let's just say that until that revelation is made clear, he is definitely trying to make things harder for you as the player. And I know it should resolve things, but let's just say I forgot that detail. Let's just say I... What I remember from Adrian Andrews is that she was really fucking annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah. That might change my opinion a bit. <coughs> but I don't remember that, honestly. I gotta replay those games, clearly. I hate complex women. I hate- it doesn't- Whatever- whatever gender, I don't care. If they do things to make things more annoying, or more difficult for me. I'm not gonna like him that much. I need to escape. There must be a way out of here. We emerge victorious. The enemy has been successfully routed. I'm sorry, Father. I was overconfident and put us in danger. What, your silos? Do not be ridiculous, Sonya. It is because of those very silos that we won here today. Men just aren't complex. How dare you? The most complex character I can think of is male. So what the fuck are you on about? Father? There's no rest for the weary. Battle awaits, and we must go forth to meet it! <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> In victory. <laughs> oh, if I was one turn faster, I would have perfected it. Good one. <laughs> yeah, it was a joke. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't think it really matters. I'm, sh I'm sure there's like, I can't think of off the top of my head. But I don't think it really matters vendor wise if they're complex characters or not. Gender equality, folks. Look at... The end... I don't want to spoil things. Look at Persona 5, guys. The character that you know I'm thinking about is very complex. Okay, this is sarcasm. I'm sorry. Um, You guys know... You, the character who I'm vocally hate... I hate vocally... I think he's a fucking dweeb. He is, and your opinion of him is wrong? No! Fuck him! He's a baby. 
Anyway, should we do one more mission? Men just aren't complaining. Right, well, I don't have to watch this on stream, but thanks, thanks for that clip. <coughs> A lot of my favorite characters are pretty simple, like Kimpachi, Zaraki, and Moomin Rider. I don't know either of them. I'm sorry. Who's your least favorite 999 character? It depends. Pre-ending or post-ending. But I could just do a cop-out and say the ninth man. It's the ninth man. But let's just say what on my first playthrough, it was Lotus. Another of Dots' favorite. I thought I thought Lotus was very annoying. Who's your favorite character in Ace Attorney? That's a tough one. <laughs> the sunglasses sell the Naruto bit. I like, uh... You know, another character that a lot of people find annoying that I like from Ace Attorney? Emma Sky. I like Emma Sky. But, uh, I also like, uh... I like Apollo. I like Trucy. And I like, uh... I like Phoenix. People find Emma annoying. I feel like everybody finds everyone kind of annoying. <coughs> Are you sure the enemy is here? That's right. Affirmative! They should be here somewhere. My reports say that. <laughs> Eek! Are you alright? Ouch! <laughs> what? Oh no, you're bleeding! We must hurry! To the infirmary! Pe prepare transfusion at once! Oh, Sholmes, Sholmes is one of my favorites. I love Sholmes. Sholmes is so fucking funny. <laughs> he was hands down my favorite character in Great Ace Attorney 1. Easily. Um, sir? No. Read your last comment. Gasp who? Or, Empachi is from Bleach and is just overpowered. The character, Moomin Rider, is from One Punch Man and is a pure heart. I watched two episodes of One Punch Man and I dropped off. But, um, Woman Rider. I've never seen this guy in my life. But he looks cool. He looks like he has a pure heart. I would trust this dude. He looks like the dude, the sidekick from Static Shock. He looks like the sidekick from Static Shock. Boom. Boom. You can't... Same character. I can't... They're both pure. It does look like Richie. Father, oh, please stop overreacting. I only fell and scraped my knee. I gotta blow my nose again. I'm sorry, guys. I'll be right back. Oh. I have returned. And I have seen Erased. Love the premise. 
The ending is a 6 out of 10. Love the premise. I was really hooked to the show. Anyway. But I'm worried. If anything ever happened to you, I don't know what I would do. I think it's best that you ride in the rear of our convoy today. It'll be much safer for you there. Father. Father, I'm a Gold Comet CO. I'm perfectly capable of handling this responsibility. Look, I can prove it to you. Sonia. The race was a 10, on te 10 out of 10 until it became a 4 out of 10. Yeah, I agree. <coughs> but, Sonia, I... Time to get Speedy to watch Death Parade? Does it have maids? Owen has showed me the opening so many times. Uh, and it's groovy. But there might be maids. Wait, Father! Look at that! Yes. Hmm? That? That's... It's an enormous enemy stronghold! That wasn't there the other day! How dare they build that monstrosity on our sacred soil! It is time to clean the rust from my blade. Uh-huh. Patience, Father. First, we need to reconnoiter. Reconnoiter. Reconnoiter or reconnoiter. Reconnoiter. But Intel is the most important part of combat. Rushing blindly to war just increases your casualties. Leave this to me. I forbid it. It is simply too dangerous. Kanbe, I think you should let her go. No? Sensei. I don't. Yeah. Sonya is a respected CEO in the Gold Comet Army. Believe in your daughter, Kanbe. It's the right thing to do. Sonya. Are you truly ready for this? Ah. 100%! I'm your daughter, aren't I? I'll prove I'm worthy to command! Can't remember what your first anime was after the big three? I mean, I the first one I experienced was Sailor Moon, but I, you know, I didn't really watch it. It was just on the TV. And like I watched Pokemon, the Pokemon anime a lot. The first time I watched an anime on my Crunchyroll was like Naruto. A giant fortress. How should we go about handling that thing? <laughs> ah, the answer was obvious. Looks like I just have to break those eight cannons protecting it. Is this, is this mission 19, guys? If I can do that, the fortress will be powerless, and I'll win. It's either that or capture their HQ. Hmm. Well, looks like this terrain has our friends in quite the quandary. <laughs> Not that it matters. Every option available leads them to failure. <laughs> of course. CEO Adder of the Black Hole Army, I presume. I should have known Black Hole was behind this. <laughs> Listen up! This fortress was built on the immense strength of the Black Hole Nation! It will never fall to the likes of Gold Comet. Never! Do you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Once I've taken care of things here, I must destroy this map! It wouldn't do to have those fools showing up at our hidden lab! Oh my god, you were right, it is a Sonya map. Or you said it was a Sensei map, but it's a Sonya map, okay. Now then, let's see what skills this foe possesses! Anyway, someone asked what my experience with the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime is. Can I just say, I had a big crush on Teya. Very big crush on Teya. When I was younger. But, um, I probably watched a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, I got to, like, the Pegasus... Like, the, the duel with Yu-Gi and Pegasus. And that's pretty much it for the most part. And then they started playing a new season of it where it's like a school with red, yellow, and blue jackets and it was on like Toonami and I watched like maybe 10 episodes of that as a teen. Other than that, no, I, I don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> this map's pretty hard. Uh-oh.
You had a big crush on Alexis Rhodes? I think I remember her. She just looks like uh, the Dark Magician girl, right? She does. It's the Dark Magician girl girl. I did like her too. I would have been in the blue house, by the way, because I am an elite duelist. Unlike Jaden Animations. I feel like the main character's name was Jaden. They brought Alexis back. By popular fan demand. It was, yeah. Nailed it. I was a coomer even as a kid. I had a lot of crushes on real beings and drawings. Junati did things to me, man. I mean, chat. I'm gonna say something, and you tell me... I'm not gonna use the word... I'm not gonna use the word I want to use. For those of you who had crushes, what age do you remember your first one being on a real person? And I know there might be some people here who are asexual, and I'm not trying to d not include those people. But I'm curious. Like six? Yeah. I, my first crush was like five. And I've, I've told that to people, and they're like, what the fuck? That's so early. But I remember... <laughs> I remember there was this girl, Kate, and I was crazy about her. And then I never saw her again. She moved away the next year, and I never saw her again. 9 to 10. High school grade 11. Uh-oh. Am I... Am I the issue? I think I made myself have a crush in third grade for some reason. You just wanted to fit in. What if Kate was watching the stream right now? I'd probably die of embarrassment, Dots. <laughs> I don't know. I, I legit... I've, I don't think anyone knows where she went. She moved away in first grade. No clue. On some girl in elementary school who I shared my M&Ms with in elementary named Dakota. Oh, that's cute. We have your back. You never understood crushes? It's an emotion. Had your first kiss in third grade during reading time? I went crazy. My first kiss didn't count. It was, uh... It was prearranged. But I was like... Six, if we're gonna count the prearranged one. Because my sister had a... A younger sister, and we were the same age. And they're like, you two should kiss! And that... Maybe that's why I'm so fucked up, guys. How do you have a prearranged kiss? Because older sisters are evil. Well, that's okay, Kevin. Don't let that be a factor of how much you, your life is valued. Live your life. Be the best person you can be. We're only on this planet for so long. Speedy villain origin story. <laughs> I agree, Ken KP. Don't feel bad. If you're looking for that, don't rush into it. You're better off waiting until you find someone right. Now, whether you want to accept my advice or not, that's up to you. But, um... <clears throat> yeah, I, 
You don't have to feel bad about that, I don't think. However. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. There's no however. I'm kidding. You don't get relationships. Well, when two people like each other a lot, they want to spend a lot of time together. But, um, you know, I feel like I watched a video from Jaden Animation to explain this. They called Speedy the Rizzler in high school. <laughs> yeah. For sure. That's definitely true. <laughs> Dude, I was so awkward. I legit, like in high school, I would get like clammy hands. Like just the thought of like telling someone my true feelings. Once you, once you do it once, it's like ripping off a band-aid. Because then you'll lose all... The glass is turning Speeder into a Rizlord. All teenagers are awkward. I feel like I was more awkward than most. Maybe not most. I was probably in like the 40% the range. You were a Fire Emblem fan? Yeah, I was a big gamer too. Like, there's that. And I basically know, knew no girls in high school who liked video games. Uh, there was one girl who liked video games, and she actually had a huge crush on Dylan, if you guys remember Dylan. And uh, we thought she was a psychopath. So that's like what... <laughs> I couldn't rely on the gamer... Like, I like gaming. That it wasn't it wasn't a good point. Who's Dylan? He's been on the channel a couple times. Yandere moment? I'm sure she was more than, like my friend group was like they're kinda assholes. I was never mean to her. But they would call her sniper because <laughs> one time I think one of my friends made fun of her. And then she did like a he was like, <laughs> like pretending to shoot him. <laughs> and then after that moment, we were like, get down, it's the sniper. <laughs> That's why we thought she was a psychopath. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we were like 14, so. It was, yeah, different times. So scared of people looking down on me in high school, so I always presented myself as someone better than I really was. Never showed weakness. Those times stressed me out. Andrew, aren't you like 20 years old? I thought you said you were like super young. Bruh. High school was like last year. But yeah, I, I'm just kidding. I'm teasing. But I think it's inevitable to like... Dude, what am I, what am I fighting here? Jesus, they have a bomber? What the fuck? I just realized I have not been paying attention. I legit feel like I just woke up <laughs> on the map. <laughs> Did they like just come into my vision? <laughs> what have I been doing, dude? Oh my god, I'm so scared. Bro, I'm fucked. We gotta build anti-air stat. Dude, I legit feel like I just, like... That was the first time I've ever felt like I've blacked out. And I've just appeared... <laughs> back into a situation. What the fuck? <coughs> Adder has no factory, so don't let him get one. Okay. I'm on it. Thank you, Mr. Rock. Okay, that's good at least. I'm gonna build an anti-air. Oops, that was a misclick. The conversation was too engrossing? Maybe. I feel like what happened was there was nothing in my field of vision, and then all of a sudden he used his superpower, and he just like brought 10 units into my face. <laughs> 
I, I want to think that's what happened, but I'm not sure. I don't even remember building a mid-tank, dude. I legit don't remember building a mid-tank. <laughs> Just survive. I could do that. <laughs> Adder is good, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, don't look, don't look at the tier list. Bought some keycaps you've been eyeing for months this morning? Ooh, share them in the Discord. Let me peep them. Let me take a look. I've always wanted to buy, like, a, a custom keyboard, but I've never felt like spending the money. Lived a perfect life since elementary school. Andrew, have you played Persona 5? I feel like if you like waifus, you, I could sell you on the perfect waifu for you. Did I see the new Bunny Chiaki figure? Yeah, Zach, Zachary sent it to me last night, and my god. What are they selling? Nothing helps. You don't like Makoto? Well, <laughs> that's, that's your life in a nutshell. As a hot chick with brass knuckles. Put them in stream, stream links. Thank you. I can't fucking breathe. Help me. I think the lack of oxygen to my brain is gonna make me lose. Links for speedy. Devil. Why is there a devil emoji next to links for speedy? <laughs> what, what is that? These look cool. Reminds me of, uh, I want to say Mass Effect. I feel like this was Mass Effect's color scheme. Like black, white, turquoise, and orange. That looks awesome, dude. Counterpoint, Haru be cute. For the amount of screen time she gets, Haru's great. He's a little, uh, muffin. He's a muffin. <sighs> I do remember that, Absol. Do I have my power? Did I get fucked up enough? Oh, I do. I should be popping that. What does Super do? I could see in the woods. Okay, it's the same. Counter tracks are not weakened by the damage they take. Oh, that's awesome. Wait, that's a really good special. Maybe not like super good to put her in tier three, but that's actually awesome. Oh, there's a port. I gotta get these. I didn't even see the factory, guys. Oh my god. I fucked up so bad. <coughs> I didn't play Strikers. Not. I, I only beat the first dungeon in Strikers. Makoto, Sai, Takemi, Sumera, and everyone else, Futaba, oh yeah. Where is What's-Her-Face that I can't remember her name? Is she in everyone else? You really not like Chess Girl? Chess Girl is the best girl. Not Kawakami. Definitely not Kawakami. What the fuck? No, I didn't see these ones down here. Hifumi, yeah, Hifumi. <laughs> I agree, Makoto is the best. A battle with Nick. That are scary, guys. Sidewinder. <laughs> but this theme's a banger. I would headbang harder, but my head feels very heavy right now. PG Dragonov? What, from Tekken? I'm good, Dot. Don't worry. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just congested. Sonya has Vantage with Super CO. That's awesome. Fuck. I look like this is roommate Trent. 
Yeah, dude, tonight, Nostiff, I, I don't like taking NyQuil during the week because I wake up at, like, noon. I'm taking two fucking NyQuil tonight. I'm not waking up for shit tomorrow. It's a three-day weekend. Fuck it, man. It's gonna, it's gonna fix so much. Number of enemy troops. Location. Got it. Drink plenty of water in OJ. I'm on it. Okay, but I can't see the factory over there. That's the most important thing. Okay, you are not getting away with this shit, dude. Yeah, I like the the scanners inner visual. <laughs> That's funny, turbin up. Zoom. Enhance. That would apply to when we were looking for uh, Yelan and, and uh, Himiko's malls. Enhanced vision. <laughs> He's just at her with drip. Well, which dragon over are we talking about? Yeah, this guy. I wanted to learn him, but he's actually like fucking hard as hell. He's so hard to play in Tekken 7. I've never played him in uh, the other ones. <coughs> You're playing this in your sister's car with the aux cord. What's up, ghost? Uh, are you alone in the car? I will change what I'm talking about. If you are not alone in the car. What's up, ghost and potentially ghost's sister slash family slash friends? You're not alone, but keep going. Guys. Did you like the Mario movie? Tell me about your opinions on the Mario movie. I'm very curious. Tears of the Kingdom is such a peak game, guys. I'm just trying to be as, like, vanilla as possible. Like, normie vanilla... We're not talking about anything else. <laughs> I hope the music's at least cool for the car ride, Ghost, if you're still here. Oh, let's see if Countermeasure kicks in. Okay, someone lied. <coughs> Just kidding, I did one damage. I lied. Your sister says Tears of the Kingdom opinion is correct. Dude, I there's so much stuff to do. The 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 exposition, the lore, the gadgets, the art style, links, air. Peak. Nintendo knocked it out of the park. Factory obtained. It's one of the games of all time. Ganon's face, Ganon's muscles. Ganon's very well-defined chest. They got the seaport? When? When did they get the seaport? What the fuck? Yes, I, I I love Tears of the Kingdom. It's it's a goaded game. <coughs> Hola. 
me has atrapado. En medio, suavemente. Te traigo mi suave. Regresé de entre los muertos con música de Youtube que cumple con los derechos de autor. Disfruta de la gloriosa suavidad conmigo bajo mi gobierno, viviremos a bien suavemente mi corazón. Es tiempo de suavemente te das cuenta, de que suavemente es para siempre la luna y el sol morirán, pero la suavidad es... Ok, that's enough of that. Anyway. Uh... That's my opinion on Tears of the Game. Oh my god, I love this! <laughs> Do you speak Spanish, Mr. Rock? Don't attack his lander? Okay. My bad. I'll keep it there. <coughs> I just want to block his base, but I gotcha. I also need to cat that city to get the lab. They have a battle sh They have rockets? Holy! But where? Is this it? Is this where we lose? Adder's cheating. You have games you want to play that I feel like I'll never get to just because of how much there is in Tears of the Kingdom. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Air unit in fog near port. How do you know that? Are you Sonya? And you're learning Spanish. That's cool. I tried to do Duolingo for like a month. But, um... I'm just too dumb. I couldn't learn the difference between, like, if it's a location, it's like this. If it's an object, it's like this. I couldn't remember it. You heard Duolingo isn't very good? Well, it couldn't teach me Spanish, that's for sure. But I'm just, like, not very good at learning languages because I'm a dumb American. Not that bad when you learned the patterns. I just couldn't remember them. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm really upset about that yield too. <laughs> you beat Tales of Arise yesterday. The ending sequence was weird. Did it make you feel like you were in a fever dream like this stream? Where's that rocket, dude? It had to be, like, up here, right? On the city? They're doing a Chiaki Nendroid. My best girl. I love you, Chiaki Nanami. Oh, why can't you be real? I'm sorry. Why is Chiaki getting so much? I mean, I know she's like super popular, but is is Dong and Rompa like? I hope they make a new game. Uh oh. Thanks, Dots. I know Krimbo. Life is so hard, honestly. The series ended at three. Reboots, baby. Let's build another recon. Vision is key on this map. <coughs> it's just a recolor of the old one. That's true. They something cancelable. Something. 
Sorry. Something. Cancelable. Everybody applaud! Everybody applaud! Everybody applaud! That was funny. Flip it. <laughs> Dude, tell me any- This is how not PC I am. Tell me anything to say and I'll say it for you on stream and you can clip it and post it to Twitter. Go ahead. I'm waiting. I'm not PC. I'm cool. What's your favorite slur? <laughs> I don't have a favorite slur. <laughs> that just took me aback. I didn't think you guys would actually do that shit. <laughs> okay. Okay, the one that I actually didn't think was so bad, but in Troops' chat, I feel like I offended a lot of people. I said a slur in Troops' chat. And I just thought it was a bad word, but not a slur. I'll say it for you guys, because I'm not a, I'm not PC and I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> the slur started with the letter C. And it rhymed with the word punt. And I said, that's not that bad. Like that's like that's just like saying C O C K. But they were like, dude, no. That that's a fucking slur. And I was like, oh shit, I say that on on stream all the time, dude. <laughs> like I, I'm pretty sure I've called I've said that word multiple times on stream. No, I'm not gonna actually It's absolutely not a word to say. Okay, maybe it's not a slur, but I was like, I'm co I'm comfortable saying that shit, you know. So maybe I need to adjust myself. There's that filthy rocket launcher. Pesky thing, pesky pesky thing. <laughs> Top tier swear words that borderlines a slur. That's a good way to put it. That's a good way to put it. I said it in Dokapon. Yeah, like I, I told you, I'm comfortable. Of, I'm comfortable with saying that word. But if it makes people uncomfortable, I'll stop saying it. Oh man, these rockets are such a bummer, dude. Did I get shot by the cannon? What happened to me? It can't see me, can it? What is my APC doing here? What am I doing? What is going on? <laughs> Bigoted against the Australian language? Yeah, I think I just... I've listened to, to Australian people too much. I've watched too much, uh... How ridiculous. We'll pin ya, you bloody cu- they totally say that on their their Christian channel. You're streaming Advance Wars? Is that where I am? Shit. The objective on this map destroy the eight cannons. What are you talking about, Slim Jim? Where because I don't remember putting my APC there. I don't remember putting my APC there. I think I need to go to sleep. I think we've been going for more than three hours, folks. I'm talking about how good Thracia is. Thracia sucks fucking balls, dude. That game is ass cheeks. Wait, you said they wouldn't move the lit. You lied to me! How could you? 
Fuck, this is gonna hurt. I know, Slim Jim. I, I need to sleep. Uh, <laughs> the sunglasses aren't helping. I feel like I've become a different person. The sunglasses has made me different. Why does Ivy have 13 builds? She has the same build as Diamant. Probably because she's mounted, like, naturally. I feel like... I don't know about, like, the other mounted units in Engage, but it's definitely in the other games that they had more con if they were on a mount, right? Maybe that's why they felt justified doing it. We're so fucked. I should wear the glasses more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, maybe it's not universal. Vision, please. Ivy kind of thick, that's why. Could be true. Oh, you know, Rimbo, you might be right. I might be thinking of the aid stat. Wait, what'd you say, Kevin? What? <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Dream's over, guys. <coughs> I'm going home. It's been real. I'm going to sleep. We'll <laughs> hey, yo. Don't fucking objectify me! Goodbye then. I'm so sorry, Miss Rock. I wish I was the person you want me to be. <coughs> but I'm not. I. I'm sorry. Hey, Pavis. You got top chatted again? What did you say? Loser? That's a top ch <laughs> You get top chatted for screaming loser? Dude, YouTube is too PC. I should be able to go into fucking... What's his face to stream? Sneeko. I should be able to go into Sneeko's stream and just say like, Loser, not get censored. Or like, you know, Pavis' stream. Because, let's just say, next Friday, during the Omega Strikers tournament. I'm not in Pavis' group, but the big three, they're not even going to make it out of groups. They're going to be the losers. I've scouted the teams, and they're the lowest power ranked in my bingo book. Loser is allowed. Okay, try loser with three exclamation points, though. <laughs> Sneeko can pull guns out on stream. Loser. <laughs> Wait, you can't say this. this is... Will I be at the con? Uh, no. If the one Biss was talking about, I won't be there. Sir, you're a loser. Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, you should be, because you are dirt. You make me sick. You big baby? Baby want a bottle? Wait, I'm gonna get fucking content clear. <laughs> Stop, I'm not in the right place of mind right now. Stop. <laughs> oh, fuck. He built a battle... I feel like I should surrender. Bruh, how am I going to deal with a battleship on land? I guess I just avoid this corner. Loser, but not top chatted. He normal doesn't do this. What's going on? Is Pavis going to the con and cosplaying as Lucina? That's awesome.
But yeah, talking about the Omega Strikers tournament. Havis got put on a fucking celebrity team. It's not fair. It, like, he, they're going to be the fan favorites for sure. I don't stand a chance. Listen to this roster for the big three. Are you ready? Havis. Sage Master 15. Professor Bopper. You guys haven't practiced one time, but you're all Omega Strikers prodigies. Don't you understand? <laughs> you're rank one in Blue Lock. Ages is still around. Uh, we played Mario Kart with him, I feel like, recently. <clears throat> I don't know if he still posts content. And I don't blame him. I don't post content either. Fuck me, dude. Like, this, this factory's useless now. I hate content, too. I agree. What are we talking about, Krimbo? And he was probably left entirely in the dark. Miss J and KS all referenced me because of the Nina alt. And he was probably left in the dark. Alright, well, I forgot what I was doing. Fuck. <sighs> Can't see the factory in the fog? You're a genius. Uh, check DMs for shark spitting bars. I mean, you did not, you did not disappoint. I, that looks awesome. Love the kilt. Very metal. Thank you. Is this a good game? I like it. I think it's a solid 9 out of 10 for me. But, um... I'm just a fan of the series, you know? I've, I've been playing these games since I was, like, 9 years old. So, it's up to you. It's a, it's a pretty expensive game, to be honest. It's like 60 bucks for this package. Went to see Ailstorm yesterday, and that guy went up for two songs. That's funny. Alright, I think we're good. We're just gonna take a beating, but it's okay. Mission complete! I don't know where I am anymore, Kidney Grove. I don't feel drunk, but I feel like I'm at that point where I'm so tired that I don't realize what I'm doing. And no, I'm not gonna end stream. We're gonna beat this we're gonna beat this map even if we're here till 2 a.m. Who a did he build a second fucking battleship? Dude, is he for real? Where's he getting all this money from? What the fuck? He only has like three, four cities. Okay, he has these two. I feel like I've made a severe lapse in my judgment. I see right through your plan. What is the highest you have ever been? I've never been high. I have never done any drug, and I'm not kidding. <coughs> oh fuck, he's a bomber on the way. Bye, Lamo. No, fuck you. I could still have fun without having to take anything, okay? That makes me cool. I'm not a nerd. You're just weak. You can't have a good time without a substance, baby. You wish you were like me. You're a loser!
Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't, I've never smoked before, or taken like edibles or anything. But um, I'm not a heavy drinker either. I just don't really uh take any thing that fucks with my sleepiness. I don't like taking Nyquil. I don't like drinking that much, and I don't like. Well, I guess I don't know, but I don't think I would like being high. <clears throat> because I uh, I feel like, at least when I get drunk, I just want to go to fucking sleep. And it's the worst. I want to have fun at the party, and it's like I can't because I need to find the nearest surface to lay down on. And it sucks. I've, I've been to New Year's parties before where I drink like four drinks and then I fall asleep before the ball drop because I'm a, I'm a lightweight pussy bitch. Loser. Yeah, I can only imagine. Dude, wait. I've never had a hangover. Waking up with a hangover must be the fucking worst. Like you just like just want to beat your past self up. Oh my, I'm so glad I've never experienced that, dude. <laughs> Luckily, when I go to sleep early, I don't wake up with a hangover. <laughs> Drink water, it helps. Yeah, I'm sure. That is a big tip. Well, there's a bomber coming, guys. I, I don't feel safe. We were dancing on crutches. That sucks. <laughs> Probably woke up with pain. There's special soup people in Korea make for hangovers. It requires seaweed. That sounds dope. Remove the glasses. Okay. What the f- Were we always on this map, guys? What the fuck happened? Dude, I'm getting my ass kicked. What the fuck happened? He's a bomber? Dude, you just yawned at me. <laughs> Fallen Speedy is gone. <laughs> I did say if one person told me to take off the glasses, I would do it. He's building. Why is he building submarines? What is he cooking? You could be, I could be missing a kidney for all I know. What happened to me? That kid's gaming PC mod folder. Who, Adder? Yeah, I think he's cheating, dude. This guy is high. But officer, I blew zero. I don't smoke, officer. I'm on the college football team. I blew zero. I'm just like that guy, for real. Why can't anyone understand that? Does anyone get that reference? Did anyone else see that news story? <laughs> I might be high. Okay, cool. I should have. I'm gonna box this guy in. I'll never see this coming. I haven't even taken the NyQuil yet. But ha has no one seen that news story where a cop, like, arrested a, a college kid? And he, for, for, like, DUI, but he blew zero on the breathalyzer. It was, like, so fucked to watch. I felt bad for the dude. But he just naturally sounded high. You know, like, <laughs> I'm not giving the officer justification for what he did. But I feel like I'm being discriminated because I have a cold and I'm tired right now. Just like that kid was, you know?
Thanks, KKP. I, I know I can find you in, like, weird comment sections. We know you discriminate. Yeah, if you like FE4, you're a bitch. Okay? You're not a real gamer if you like FE4. And how dare you say you appreciate the art, f art form known as video games. Because FE4 is a fucking game design disaster. Emphasis on the D. <sighs> anyway. I'm just gonna... <laughs> What if you found a soup drinking glasses wearing English major FE4 fan? I'd probably do a hate crime. I don't know. <laughs> That's, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm sorry. Too far. Too far. He dove. He dove. What a bitch. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> but no, no, no. You have to add the, you have to add the context though. You can't, you don't have permission to clip that. It's not allowed. Alright, let's just eat this damage. <sighs> anyway. Hopefully this kills. I, I pray it kills. You just watched a concert, concert for four hours-ish and you're more awake than me? Dude, I didn't sleep last night. I woke up at 7.30 a.m. I ha I've had a cold all fucking day. I am here, it's 12.42 p.m., and I am very congested, and I just want to take NyQuil and go to sleep, but we gotta beat Adder's ass. We have to. It's necessary. You're gonna commit a hate crime against Linking? No, 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 hate Linking does not, is not an English major, first of all, and does not like soup. We've talked about it, his favorite food is lobster roll. Also, I think the, the secret lab is one of these these cities. Did I say PM? No fucking way. <laughs> I didn't... Dude, did I actually say that? Okay, I gotta go, guys. <laughs> I didn't say that, did I? What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh, I can't believe I can't fire on this guy. I definitely did. Okay, slip of the tongue. That that happens usually though. I usually misspeak, misspoke, talk bad. It's 12:43 a.m. and I'm tired. Okay. <coughs> All in season is the trees' is payback for deforestation. My seventh grade, si my seventh grade science teacher. Made me despise pollen. Because she said something that freaked me out. And it's scientifically correct. But for some reason, she always felt the need to bring up that pollen is tree sperm. And she's like, every time you inhale pollen, you're inhaling tree sperm. And I can't think, I just get skeeted on by trees everywhere now. And scientifically, she's right. <laughs> but why did she feel the need to say that to a room of 12-year-olds? <laughs> I'm allergic to tree sperm? Sick. <laughs> it is, and I swallow. <laughs> no, dude, she... I swear to God. She brought it up for, like, a month straight when spring started. And then there was, like... No, my, my middle school was weird. We had... The way it was structured, we had... like It was like Hogwarts. We had four class houses that you were separated into randomly. And in the four houses, there was four groups of classes. Like students. So every quarter, you would be with the same group of kids for every core class. And then the next quarter, they would randomize the kids. But I swear to God... All four sections mentioned the tree sperm thing, and they were all freaked out. Like, everyone was like, Did Miss Shapiro say the thing about the pollen to you guys too? <laughs> they were like, Yeah, that was fucking weird. Why did she say that? It was just, it was. 
Was I Hufflepuff? I was in the yellow house, so yeah, I was I was Hufflepuff. It was yellow, red, blue, and green. Our house system. Are you drunk? No. I'm just tired. I get, look, look, I'm not drunk. Look. A drunk person cannot do that. Okay? I'm to I'm here. Can you long jump? No. I'm <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do a long jump, dude. My body is so sore. <laughs> okay, so you're high. No, dude. <laughs> no, that's what they do in the field sobriety test. They go touch your nose. You lose, like, your sense of spacing, I feel like. A, B, C's. D Y X W B U T. S R Q E O N M L J K. No, K J. <laughs> you guys are making me silly. I'm sorry. But le I legit could not do that. I'm s maybe I am drunk. I couldn't do that. I'm not high. Although I did eat a brownie that my friend gave me, but I didn't. It didn't taste like it had anything in it. I, I think if I had an edible, I'd be knocked out, dude. I'm like convinced. It was just a normal brownie. <laughs> okay, there's no way there was anything in that, and it hit me like five hours later. Anyway, good night, good night, Alex. I apologize for how I presented myself this this stream. <laughs> Saying "take on me." Okay, let me look up the lyrics. What was the was the odor on? No, it tasted like a normal brownie. <laughs> I had to look up the lyrics for this song. The lyrics are literally just take on me, take on me, take on me, take on me. I'll be gone in a day or two. <laughs> Sorry. I thought that was funny. Take on me, take on me, take me on. Take on me, I'll be gone in a day or two. So needless to say, I'm odds and ends, but I'll be stumbling away. Da, da, da. Am I? Uh, that proved it, right? That was my head voice, King KP. It's not real. It's a fake voice. Not bad. Golf clap. <laughs> Let's get some vision up in this bitch. Where are they coming from? Not bad for someone high. Dude, I've never gotten high in my life. It's not possible. I, I'm actually immune to THC. Let's try and save some turns. Oh my god, I'm one damage off. Fuck. <sighs> Will this do 45? I doubt it. Aw, oh, so close. If you want to annoy Pavis, raise Faye. Dude, Faye is so cute. And he is basically every kid in middle school who had a crush who didn't get their way. They shoot, they shot their shot, and the crush was like, sorry, I'm in a relationship. And then Faye is just like, well, that's okay. Can we still be friends? And then Alm's like, sure. And then you never let go of that grudge 
for like 60 years. You never said anything bad about Faye. I love Faye. Faye's great. Am I projecting? Yes. Of course. I am Faye. Sounds like Pav is. <coughs> and then she keeps leaving her family to stalk Alm after he got married in their ending and is also mean to Silk. He apologizes to Silk, actually. If you're gonna hold that shit against me for Adrienne Andrews or whatever her name is, you can't hold that against Faye for Silk. She apologized. She said, sorry for being a bitch. Let's start over. It might be nice to have a female friend. Also, I can't defend the, the latter part that you said. I'm sorry. Explain the- I just said I can't explain it. I'm sorry. I can't explain that part. Or I can't defend it. Silka's best Echoes girl? Why? There's- okay, legit- I don't get why so many people like Silk outside of her hips. Dude, like, there's so many great female characters from Echoes. Don't mind that most of them are damsels, but like... Pala, Patria, Matilda, Tatiana, May. Delica! Claire, Claire is great. Like, what does Silk do that makes her best girl besides having ridiculous hips? Sonya? Sonya's a way better than, than Silk. A way better character than Silk, in my opinion. I feel like people are being biased because of the hips. She has warp? So does Faye! Faye has rescue, that's even better! He's a hot nun. You know, personally, I've never been into the nun archetype. Like, I think Natasha's so boring. And, uh, Ellen from FE6. I think she's so boring. Oh my god. And I think Lena is so boring. This isn't sarcasm, by the way. Like, I legit... I don't hate religion, but I feel like nuns are just not it, dude. You like Nina because I don't? I like... Okay, I mostly like Nina because she's pretty. Honestly, I don't like many Arcanea characters. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. Arcanea does not have many characters I'm a big fan of outside of like the Pegasus Trio, Katria, Iki. <clears throat> Kamu. Lind is great. I don't hate religion, but. <laughs> I listed are basically the same characters in a different world. Well, yeah, that's they brought them back because they were good characters. Checkmate. We're gonna beat this chapter, guys. I offended you four times? How? What did I possibly say? That silk sucks? Did I run out of ammo? I did. Retreat! I'm just doing as much damage as I can. Have I even moved this infantry in like 10 turns? All the religious sisters are basically the same character. Oh yeah, definitely. A hundred every every nun I listed is like so fucking basic. 
how the map dissolves evolves so badly because I'm not here okay Let me just pull up a, a quote, a favorite quote of mine. There is an idea of a speedy hawk, some kind of abstraction, but there is no real me, only an entity, something illusory. And though I can hide my cold gaze, and you can shake my hand and feel flesh gripping yours, maybe you can even sense our lifestyles are probably comparable. I am simply not there. <laughs> Something illusory. Yeah, it's a quote from American Psycho. Of course I stole it. It's Patrick Bateman, guys. Now, it doesn't make me an American psycho. I just like that movie. I think it's really funny. Don't forget the factory capture. Did I Have I been capturing a factory and just not doing it? We're going to get a C rank for sure, dude. I fucked this up so bad. <laughs> what about the beloved sequel, American Psycho 2? I've never seen it, but I've heard terrible things. Terrible, terrible things. This doesn't seem like... Oh, yeah, 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 the secret mission. Thank you. Was it this one? We should look it up. I forgot which one it is. Sorry, sorry. Windows jump scare. Advance Wars... to Mission 19. Secret Factory. Is this the right map? <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking. <coughs> this article sucks. Okay, it's this one. It's right here. Right here. Fight Club is about so much more than dudes being bros. It's about the disease of American consumerism. And then the ending just goes off the fucking rails and it becomes a 0 out of 10 movie. They just completely lose the, the strong message they had about the human condition in modernized first world countries. Disappointing. American Psycho is like pretty similar actually though. It's like a critique on materialism and I guess appearances like be being fake. It's pretty deep, dude. You should you should look into it. You've never seen Fight Club? Do you know the plot twist? You should watch it. If you haven't seen the plot twist, it's actually like one of the cr more famous. I'm not gonna say crazier, but famous plot twists in cinema. Just rent it on YouTube for for three dollars in SD standard definition, and just watch it. You might like it. I, I thought it was super strong. I just didn't feel the ending. And also... Dots. Brad Pitt is... I don't know if you like Brad Pitt, but he's super naked. Like, all over the place in that movie. It's great. I'm just trying to give you reasons to watch Fight Club. 
But if Brad Pitt is not your type, don't worry. It's okay. Don't worry about it, then. He's alright? Okay. Maybe you don't watch it, then. <laughs> no, I needed that! Fuck! I don't know if you're being sarcastic, Absol. It does have Edward Norton. I actually... Is Edward Norton the Hulk? I didn't know that. Groin cap? I mean, I gotta take out that rocket, right? Oh my, whatever. I'll take it next turn. He was then there was someone conflict with the studio and now it's Mark Ruffalo. Oh. I do I do know about Mark Ruffalo being the Hulk. I've seen those I've seen one of those movies. Where he's just like It's Bruce Banner, right? That's the Hulk. You think you're drunk? I have a breathalyzer if you wanna Test yourself. Have I seen Rob McElhenney's body transformation based on Brad Pitt? No. I don't think I have COVID. But, uh... Doesn't feel like COVID. I've had COVID twice, and both times I was like, I think I have it. You know? But this feels different than the two times I've had COVID. Who am I looking up? Rob McElhenney? I'm gonna get it. Relax, Rocker Gamer. I'm gonna get it. Jesus Christ! I thought... Okay, maybe I need to go to sleep. I thought this was, uh... The kid... I don't know the actor's name. Kid from AI. Haley Joel Osment. <laughs> I thought that was Haley Joel Osment for a second. You could see it, right? <coughs> well, he looks great. Oh, Jay, what's up, dude? I need to get, uh, ammo. Were any of these people actors? Dude, that's my last inventory, I just realized. I need to make a distraction. We're going to deal with it. We're going to deal with it. <laughs> What's up, Parker? Hope you're doing well. I'm not. I'm going to do the secret mission, guys. We're going to deal with it. How do you rate Riss out of 10 on, like, what scale? Are you about to end stream? In, like, three minutes, yeah. I'm going to sleep. <clears throat> Hot bald man? So in attractiveness.
I would rather not with Riss. I would rather not. Oh, are you asking me or... Never mind. Jesus Christ. <coughs> Riss or Bantu? <coughs> That's a tough question. Or who's speedy? <laughs> I don't know, maybe the person in chat who has publicly said they like bald dudes. <laughs> uh -huh. We found the map, guys. That's sick. Yes, ma maybe the guy who may have said bald dudes are super hot. And now that I know that, I can't talk smack about bald dudes without feeling bad. I'm sorry, I... We should delete this VOD. I think we should delete this VOD. I think it's in everyone's best interest if we delete the VOD. Why are you awake, Rocker Gamer? <laughs> Why are you awake? What? It can't be! Our beautiful Vultress! Ah, oh, we were unlucky, nothing more. And so for now, we must retreat! Woo, we won! <laughs> Don't ya? Uh -huh. Father, did you observe the battle? Hey. I did. Those were bold tactics you employed, daughter. Not unlike your old man. I was mistaken earlier. You were the perfect CO for this fight. Father... Hmm. However, the war will only become more difficult from here. I understand now that I cannot shield you from the violence and dangers of this world. So, I ask that you never let your guard down. Stay vigilant, act swiftly, and never forget the value of life itself. Do you understand, Sonya? Of course. Yes, sir, I do! Poggers! Can we get some speedy poggers in the chat, please? It's only a C rank. B rank. What if it's Sonja, like Soldier? It could be. Poggers, yeah! We did it, folks. It only took half of our army to die and leaving the other half of Adder's army alive. How did we manage to get a B rank? I'm a veteran of the series. Okay, yeah, do the Nagi, guys. Let's go. Have a good weekend. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. I love you. I'm sorry for everything, guys. I'll see you next week. Have a great Memorial Day weekend for the Americans in the chat. Bye.